You know, I just have to point out I'm already dying, so I'm actually really afraid of what's gonna happen. Hey there, everyone. Welcome to Toss and Sauce, where we're not passing pucks, but instead eating wings. I'm Shawnee Hill, and joining me today is Andrea Helfridge. She's my co-host for Flyers TV. You see her on the big video board, you see her on the small screen, you see her in your Instagram feed as well. But there's so much more to Andrea, we're gonna find out that today, all while eating some chicken wings. And as the wings get hotter, so do the questions. So Andrea, are you ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. I'm How's a little you? nervous. How are you with spicy food? I'd like to say I'm pretty good, but seeing this large glass of milk you gave me is making me intimidated, like this is really hot. Pretty simple for each question, the sauces will get hotter and hotter. You will start on the right side of your board, working it all the way towards the left. I'll be eating along with you, so don't worry, I'll be suffering. Okay, good. All right, let's get started first way. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. I'm fine. Talk to me. Now, you've always had an eye for fashion, dress well today as well. Could you give us some do's and don'ts that you live by when it comes to revamping your wardrobe? No, I just have to point out I'm already dying, so I'm actually really afraid of what's going to happen. Dress to your body, not towards the trend. I see a lot of girls and guys, you know, you see what's on like Pinterest or Instagram, try to dress to what's cool, but it doesn't mean large polka dots are always going to accent your body the right way, or an A-frame might not do you justice. So I just, I mean, like right now, I'm in all black. I like black. Black is easy, and uh, you don't get hot sauce on it, but yeah, dress to your body, not towards the trend. Boom. 100%. Honey habanero, mmm. This is a local hot sauce as well from Seattle. Not made by yours truly? Not made. I'm sweating, I have like a sweat mustache. You look good, you look good. All right. So as you look back on your first season with the Philadelphia Flyers, can you take us through some of the, the highlights and some of the... Uh, I hate you right now, it's yeah. starting to hit me. Yeah, um, I, one of my favorite moments was obviously hanging out with you all year. Um, getting to know our players up close and personal. They are real people, you know? So seeing that kind of through and through was really cool for me. And the fans are amazing, you know? Getting to hang out with them every day almost was was fun. We got to, and like, I mean, we have favorite kids. Your kid's yeah. essentially Joey. I don't really have a kid yet, but there are a lot of kids that I had so much fun, like learning what these dances are that I still can't do. But you know, they're so cute and they're so into it. And some of them have been coming since they were in their mom's belly. Like you just hear those stories. I'm dying. Okay, the milk, the milk and the water are there for you. All right, well, we're on to the final wing. Now, our inspiration today was a little show called Hot Ones from our friends at First We Feast, and they have a tradition on their show, and I think we should do it on theirs, that they add a little bit more to the final wing. They call it a nice little last dab. So if you're willing, there's already sauce on the wing, you want to add a little bit more. If you do that and it's too hot for me, can I spit this in your face? Yeah. Well, I'll let you add it if you want to. You don't have to. I'm going to do it to keep with the tradition, whatever you need to do to get through it. I'm just angry just at you. I'm angry because I'm sweating and I'm wearing a tank top. <sighs> Cheers. Oh God. That's a good size bite. Mm -mm, that's a good, oh God. Oh. All right, well, I gotta ask you one specific question about the orange and black since we do work for the Flyers. So while the hot sauce is coursing through you there, I want you to address the fans and tell them why they should be excited for next season, what they can expect, and why they should ride along with us. Wow, there's a lot of questions there. I'm gonna think about over a glass of milk. Getting to you? Mm-hmm. Um, well, one, there's a lot of additions coming to the Wells Fargo Center, so. <laughs> Just going right to copy. <laughs> no, I'm not doing a read. There really are, there's new additions. We're gonna have bigger and better stuff than we've had before. So fans have a lot of, you know, new improvements and fun gadgets and, not gadgets, but fun improvements to look forward to, and obviously the in-game experience. I mean, I'm dying right now. You know, during the off season, like we're just always striving to improve the in-game presentation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah! um, so we're just thinking of bigger and better things, more engagement with the players, because this year, the fans really received, I'm crying, like I can't concentrate. <laughs> They really love the videos that we did with the players. So that that was really cool. And I'm gonna make sure we do more of that and even more fun things like this shindig, you know, just really engaging our fans with our players. 
Well, you did great. Very engaging here. I can tell by your reaction that you're ready for the ice to get put back in here at the Wells Fargo Center. Thank you so much for joining us here on Toss and Sauce. Now, I want to ask you, who do you think should join me next year at the Table of Hot Sauces? Next year. Get Claude Drew in here. Yeah? Yeah. Think the captain would be good with hot sauces? G for hot sauce. G for hot sauce. G for hot sauce. Andrew, thank you very much. You want to give out your social media handle so everyone knows where to find the behind the scenes look. Sure, guys. Follow me on Instagram at Andrea Helfrich Official and Twitter at Andrea underscore Helfrich. See you there. Yeah, I got it. That was, this is awful. Well done. I wouldn't recommend this to anyone.